pray if you're someone that doesn't know Jesus I pray that you will just give me two minutes to uh, talk to you about the Lord just two minutes um, you're a treasured possession Jesus has a plan for you and he says come to me and he will give you rest don't try and find peace in the world because you'll never find it you will be looking and searching forever Jesus says come to me and I'll give you rest and today I just wanted to come on and just encourage somebody that if you look if you if you don't know the Jesus I want to encourage you to come to Jesus today and give your heart to the Lord he wants you so much to be in his arms he wants you with him and the way you can do it is a simple heartfelt prayer let's keep it simple you say sorry you change your ways and you read the word of God and allow the Lord to lead you on his path in his way and that's it so if you're someone that doesn't know the Lord today be encouraged give your heart to Jesus today repent in your own time at home or follow this the prayer that's going to be uh, said in this video or that's going to be left underneath in, this, in the description in your own time and then after you've done that if you would I'm going to take communion to take communion get in on the blessings you know get in on the inheritance of the saints the Lord says come to me all who are weary and I will give you rest you know let me let me get that scripture for you. It's eleven Matthew eleven in your own. If you want to read that in your own time. Matthew eleven twenty eight. If I'm if I'm right, I'm sure it's eleven. Bear with me. Yes. Um, come to me. Come to me, all who. So we're saying this to you today. The one that doesn't know Jesus. Are you listening? This is for you. Okay. Come to me, all who are weary and heavily burdened by religious rituals that provide no peace, and I will give you rest, refreshing your souls with salvation. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, following me as my disciple, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest. Renewal, blessed quiet for your souls, for my yoke is easy to bear and my burden is light. So that's for you today, Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28, come to me. Jesus just says, come to me. Simple, 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 simple. That's all I wanted to say. And if you give your heart to Jesus today, it's the best thing you will ever do. You receive eternal life and you will be blessed. You'll be crowned a child of God. Forget the things of the world, they're temporary. There's going to be a time when the trumpet blows and it's real, it's going to happen. Whether you believe it or not, it will happen. It's going to happen. And the Lord is going to catch everybody up in the sky. And you don't want to be there watching them going, being left on earth to deal with all the terror that's going to happen and all the things that are going to take place. And it's real. And I don't mean to, like, you know, it's in the word of God. I'm just trying to, explain. I'm just trying to, you know, that's the rapture and it's going to happen. I just wanted to say that it's going to happen, you know, and I want you to be in on the blessings and, and away from danger. And Jesus wants you to be away from danger. He wants you to be safe. He wants you to be safe. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. And if you remember anything from this video, I just want you to, say, I just want you to remember, Jesus says, come to me and repent and I will give you rest and I'll wash you clean as white as snow. We can get ready in, this, in, in the physical. We get up every day, don't we? We wash ourselves. We put perfume on. We get ready. Let your perfume be praise. Let your garments be white as snow. Having been washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash yourself in the blood of Jesus. Because the Lord says when you wash yourself in the blood of Jesus Christ, all your sins are covered and you are clean. You're clean. They're completely gone. For real, they're completely gone. Yes completely forgotten and you get to know this as you read the word of God it's true but you need the word of God to read and know about what the Lord is saying about you so that's why you need the word of God so come on today there's one out there there's got to be one out there there's many but the one that's watching this even if it's just one great that's all I want you know and 
And Jesus left the 99 to get the one. So the one really matters to Jesus. The one really matters. You do. So let, let today be the day. Let today be the day that you say yes to the Lord and say no to the world. Turn your back on the world. Turn your back on the world. You can even physically do it and say, I'm turning my back on the world. And I'm saying yes to Jesus. I'm leaving the past behind and I'm doing things Jesus' way. You're going to have to take stand though. You're going to have to take a stand. And you're going to have to say yes to Jesus. Say no to the things of the world. No to the things of your old life. Make that change. Make that move. You're going to be blessed as you do. And the Lord's going to send people to bless you. You know, favour and blessings are going to fall into your lap because you're choosing the Lord. Because you've chose the Lord. You're like, wow, you know, these people are just blessing me because you're the, a child of God. And the Lord's on your side. And if you've got the Lord on your side, it doesn't matter who's a, who, what person, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, it just matters that you've got the Lord. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, if you've, what person in your, in your friends give you approval or not, you know, what they say. It doesn't matter what they say, what person, I don't know, maybe it's in your family or friends, what they say, you know, it doesn't matter what they say about you. You're choosing the Lord Jesus Christ today. Do it today and give your heart to just get on track. Amen. And if, if you've listened this far, I thank you for listening. And um, I'm about to take communion. I'm about to go, I'm, I'm about to share the prayer of repentance. If you want to say it now or in your own time when you at the bottom of this description, uh, which is at the bottom of this video afterwards. And so let's do that now. Let's go with all your heart. You can even put this uh, video on pause. Go to the toilets if you're out, if you're in a cafe, wherever. Just go somewhere quiet. If you've got your headphones on, brilliant. Just close your eyes. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this one. Hallelujah. Thank you for this one precious soul. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, for this precious heart. That you're touching right now so you just repeat after me and if you can speak this out it's important for you to confess or whisper as long as you speak it out okay dear jesus or lord in your own way i'm sorry for my sin i'm sorry lord for going my own way show me the way i believe you are who you are lord Live in me by your Holy Spirit and give me your peace. In Jesus' name, I believe you died and rose again, Lord. Help me to learn about you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Now, through that simple prayer, you might think, okay, is it that simple? Yes, it's that simple. I want to, I want to, uh, I'm going to leave some scriptures at the bottom of this uh, video to help you see, um, to help you see uh, what the Lord says about you and about you know when we repent and you know how we're transferred from darkness to light that the confession of our mouth you know confirms our salvation and you're the anointed of god you're a child of god amen so if you if you listen this far even better <laughs> praise the lord and you can take communion with me if you're at home maybe um if you're not you can take it later in your own time. Praise God. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for communion. Thank you that we get to thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the finished work of the cross. And that in taking communion, we remember the sacrifice that you made. Give us the right hearts now, Lord, as we remember what you did for us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to turn over to Matthew 26. If you've got your Bibles, turn with me. Let's read it together. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> now as they were eating, Jesus took bread and um, and after blessing it. Sorry, let me start again. Um, now as they were eating, Jesus took bread. Sorry. And after blessing it, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take it, this is my body. And when he had taken a cup and given thanks, he gave it to, to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is the blood of the new 
and better covenant which ratifies the agreement and, and is being poured out for many as a substitutionary atonement for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Now, the last verse. But I say to you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And after they sat, after singing the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Amen. Praise the Lord. So if you've got your bread and juice, we'll take that now. Praise the Lord. In your, in your own time. Thank you, Lord. You know, the Lord says we should take communion. You know, examining. You know, examining ourselves and... <clears throat> come before the Lord and saying sorry for anything that we would have done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, glory to God, hallelujah. He's great and worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, he's a sacrifice of praise. It's a sacrifice, your praise is a sacrifice. If you don't know that and you've just given your heart to the Lord, hallelujah. Your hallelujah matters to the Lord. It's a sacrifice of praise. You're sacrificing when you're giving to God. You sacrifice your praise and hallelujah. You put your hands right up to the Lord. High. 
never mind all that, you know, keeping your hands really low just to, you know, so you don't look too, you know, weird. Put your hands right up to the Lord Jesus Christ. Forget people, what they think. The reason I say that is because I used to think that and I used to keep my hands like really low, like just to keep people happy. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> no, you know what? Keep your hands high. Give your hands, bring your hands high onto the Lord and let go and give your heart to him and just be like, okay, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And give your heart to him and your hands high, put them high up. Don't worry about what people think. However you led, just feel free, free in the Lord. You know, so praise God. And if you, you did give your heart to Jesus today, I want to tell you the best thing you ever did was to do that. Have a blessed day. Read the word of God. Get into a fellowship. You just become born again. Spiritually born again from on high. So get into a, 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 a fellowship. Of like minded born again believers. Born again Christians. You've just. You know. You've just been transferred from darkness to light and you are the Lord's now you belong to him you're a treasured possession and you're holy so stay guarded too remember because there you to keep that holiness and to keep yourself when I say you know it's holy consecration is important to the Lord so in other words but like I said before it's very important to say no to the past that's what you're saying no to. Consecration is saying no to, you know, it's giving yourself separate from the things that we left, that we know don't glorify God, that are not of God, from sin, keeping yourself away from sin. People can mock holiness. They even do that. <clears throat> but let them, that's okay. But you, that's up to them. It's not okay. That's up to them. We don't agree. But consecrate yourself to God. You said, okay, how do I do that? simple keep it simple stay away from the things that are not like i just said that are not of god that are from your old life things of sin stay away from that read the word of god the lord will show you you know he says keep yourself you know separate to the world and the things in it you know we can enjoy life don't get me wrong enjoy life the good things of, of god you know the good things <clears throat> in life for us to enjoy I'm talking about sin. You've washed your hands of that now. And the Lord has washed you clean. You're brand new. You're white as snow, dressed in white. You're seated in, next to Christ. You're seated next to Jesus now in the spiritual realms in heaven. And that's why you need to get into the word to know what, uh, what the Lord says about you, okay? So get reading. Praise the Lord. Amen.